But you so-called Christians, you don't ask no questions. You just go along to get along. You don't investigate nothing. And that's why you look at me harshly and get upset because what we bring you is in here and what you believe is out there. Right. This is our foundation. That's right. We don't make up nothing. If it's not in here, we don't believe it. If it's not in here, we refuse to practice it. If it's not in here, we won't condone it. We don't care if a billion people patronize it. Amen. There's more with us than it is with them. I received a letter from, no, not a letter. There's numerous of organizations that have wrote or have written so much on the truth of God just by watching us. And there's a watchdog group that wrote an article and said uh, they all was just chatting about the telecast and about, as they call it, my militancy. And they said that I don't believe in the fundamentals of Christianity, that there are three separate and distinct personalities to God. That was a true report. We don't believe in three gods at all. We don't believe that God have multi personalities because we don't believe that God is schizophrenic. Anyone that have multiple personalities is uh, schizophrenic. And when you narrow God down to three, you handicap him. I admit he is father, but look at what I'm about to toss at you now. God is father. God is father. God never was a son. That's right. Did you hear me? I want you to get this. I say God never was a son because God have no mother. That's right. God is not begotten. God don't have a birthday. And God is not a Jew. That's right. God is not Jewish. No. He is God. No nationality can lay claim on him. So I want to say, but I thought you teach Jesus Christ is God. That's yes and no. That's right. I'm able to tell you that yes and no. Amen. The name of God is Jesus. Yeah. But the flesh of Jesus is not God. Right. <laughs> I say the name of God is Jesus. But the flesh of Jesus was not God. That's right. The flesh of Jesus was Mary's baby. That's right. God is not a baby. No. God was in the baby. Amen. And then the baby had to grow. God don't grow. Right. God don't learn. That's right. The baby oh, grew in stature. God's stature has no certain measure. No. He's God is higher than heaven. Yeah. Deeper than hell. Amen. Broader than the sea. Longer than the earth, Mary didn't breastfeed God. No. So no, God did not become man. No. God made man. Then got in the man that he made. Amen. Then the man inherited God name. Yeah. And then that man had God title. Amen. Then that man was endowed with God power. 
yeah. showing you a separation between the nature of the man and the nature of God. That's right. Bible says God is a spirit. The Bible talk about the son of God was of the seed of David and David's seed is not spirit. That's right. Spirit was in David's seed. That's right. Spirit took on David's seed. Amen. Spirit took on the body of a Jew. Yeah. That's right. But the spirit was not the son. The Jew was the son of the spirit. That's right. And the spirit was the father of that Jew. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Just like the spirit is my father. And I'm a Gentile. Go ahead, brother. But the Spirit is the father of this Gentile. That's right. Owen said, How was that? The Bible said, Have we not all one father? One father? Oh, yeah. Have not one God created yes. us? Us. Us. Yes. Us. Yes. Us. They got Jew, Italian, yeah. African, Amen. the Spaniard, Amen. the Greek. Doesn't matter who you are. No. You folk that says that there are three. Three what? Three what? God is father. Mm -hmm. God never was a son. God is in son. Mm -hmm. God is in this son now. Yeah. It's called the church. church. And God is Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Ghost is simply another title for spirit. Yeah. Well, what, what is that in the, in, that you teach in school about two words that sound different but have the same meaning? Harmonyms? Synonyms? Synonyms. Synonyms. Ghosts. Spirit. Same thing. Like flesh and dust. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Like God and Lord. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Like father and creator. Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Like son of God and son of man. Yes. Same thing. Yeah. So now God is the title that the father have. Jesus is the name of the father. That's right. And then when he made a body, the body was called son, man, prophet, Apostle, mm -hmm. minister, and that body came out the house of David, mm -hmm. out the tribe of Judah, but the prophecy of the body comes from heaven. That's right. I know Dick is on getting on this, but I just want to start off by rectifying the Trinitarian myth. Myth. It's a myth. Yes, it That's is. It's like Greek theology. It's yeah. a myth. Oh, yeah. God is one. One. So you that says I don't believe in the fundamentals of Christianity, of the religion of Christianity, you told the truth. In fact, let me tell you some more things I don't believe. <laughs> I don't even believe in a religion called Christianity. Amen. Amen. Now I know many of you don't like this. Don't like it. And I don't care if you don't. Amen. There is no religion in your Bible or mine called Christianity. Amen. I didn't say Christian wasn't in there. No. Christian is in there. That's in there. But the Christian is a person. It was first called Christians where? Where? Antioch. Then the apostle said, if one suffer as a Christian, mean if he suffer like Jesus. That's right. But you liars, you Bible scholars, you philosophers. Yeah. You said Christianity start 2,000 years ago, and that's a 2,000 year old lie. That's right. Jesus himself never said he came and start Christianity. No. Did he say that? No, he didn't. So, where did you get it from? Who told you that this religion 
this way right. that Jesus gave his apostles was called Christianity. Christianity is nothing more than an acronym. That's all. It comes from the word Christian. Right. Like apostolic is an acronym. Oh, yeah. That comes from the word apostle. Amen. Like Mormon is an acronym. Yeah. That comes from the devil's angel, Mermon. Amen. Amen. God didn't start acronyms. No. God said, be holy. That's it. For I, the Lord, your God is holy. That's it. That's it. Are you listening? Amen. And because people don't know the Bible, when we say there is no religion called Christianity, you churchgoers get upset with me. But there's a surge taking place in the world. Oh, yeah. There's an uprising. Oh, yeah. There's a revolt. People are rising up around the world because the understanding is coming open. That's right. And because, thanks be unto God, of the truth of God's message, the preachers now, their ability to con and manipulate and duke and deceive, mm -hmm. now is becoming handicapped. Mm -hmm. Because thousands of viewers are looking, learning, listening, and now they are questioning what's being taught in these churches. That's right. And that's a good thing. Amen. The Lord says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. We want to undo what the devil is doing. So this is why I'm so grateful. Oh, this message I'm telling you, people are writing us from all around the world in areas that you would never think. People of every nationality, black, white, brown, yellow, red, of every nationality under the sun. Turning away from their fictitious teaching. That's right. It's fictitious. Amen. You know, when you go in the library, we got fiction and non-fiction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These religions are fictitious. Oh, yes. They are not real. Now, viewers, you hard head thing here. And some of you that are here. You were offended over the statement that I made that Christianity is not in the Bible. And the reason why you were offended because you've been going around telling people that your religion is Christianity, but you didn't know. You didn't know you were lying. Didn't know. That's right. You just picked up a religion. It's a hand-me-down religion. Amen. It was handed down from your fathers, who got it from their fathers, who got it from their fathers who got it from their fathers. And when the wicked crusade took place, That's it. sponsored by the Catholic Church, Go ahead. the great crusade, as they call it, mm -hmm. where they would go into villages around the world murdering people mm -hmm. who refused to accept the religion that men called Christianity. Jesus at no time said what he was teaching was Christianity. No. In fact, Jesus said, this doctrine is not mine. He said, but it's his. Jesus said his teaching was not his. Not, not mine. It belonged to the spirit that was in him. And the spirit that was in that body was God. Don't you hear the Bible says? To wit, God was in Christ Jesus. God was in that flesh. God was in that servant. God was in that man. God was in Mary's baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then God taught him. Taught the flesh. Instruct the flesh. Yeah. All that flesh was a representation of the body to come. Yeah. The body of Christ, the church. That's right. As that flesh and blood submitted to what the spirits had, the church got to submit 
to what the word of God said. Amen. Amen. So just like God was in that body, God is in this body. Yeah. He's in my body. Oh, yeah. I'm in the Father. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God and the Father is in me. That's right. You understand? Go ahead, brother. God, you want God to be in you. That's right. And you want to be in him. That's it. Glory to God. That's right. I ain't doing things on and touching on all that. But you know, it's like someone that uh, uh, bowl a ball, they may not have an intention to get a strike. <laughs> but they knock all of them down. Amen. I know there are many of you now that been going to church and professing a religion called Christianity, Christianity. and especially this time of year, you really profess it. Oh, yeah. Look at you, you hypocrite. Go ahead, brother. You have what is called Lent. That's right. Pagan festival. Who started this Lent stuff? The only thing I knew about Lent is a ball on your clothing. Amen. Pull it off. Amen. But you so-called Christians, you don't ask no questions. You just go along. Yeah. To get along. You don't investigate nothing. Oh, and yeah. that's why you look at me harshly and get upset because what we bring you is in here and what you believe is out there. Right. This is our foundation. That's right. We don't make up nothing. If it's not in here, we don't believe it. If it's not in here, we refuse to practice it. If it's not in here, we won't condone it. We don't care if a billion people patronize it. Amen. There's more with us than it is with them. Now, Many of you would get upset and say, he's blaspheming. He's saying Christianity is not in the Bible. That's not blaspheme, that's true. That's the truth. I'm telling the truth. That's the truth of it. And many of you get angry. I don't care what you say. My religion is Christianity, you fool. That's a fool. If you truly want to be like Christ, Christ said, it is written. It is written. You, you hear him talk every time the devil jumped on him. Christ said, it is thus, written. it is written. Right. Now, I'm saying to you, it has to be written. Has to if be. it's not written, you might as well take it and throw it in the trash. Because when the great God come, every man who work going to be tried by fire. Yeah. And if it don't stand the fiery test, yeah. the great God of heaven is going to burn it up. That's right. So let's, let, let's go back and talk about this Lent. Mm. This pagan indulgence yeah. founded by the Catholic Church. Mm. The same ones that started Mardi Gras. That's true. And let's look at how this worked now. That's true. During the time of Mardi Gras, you're free to do what you will. Even the police won't arrest you. Amen. And after that week of demonic indulgence, the next stop is Ash Wednesday. Yeah. You put smut. You put dirt to compliment the dirt that you've done. That's right. Put dirt on your head. And then after the dirt, everything's supposed to be leading up to Easter. Yeah. You have your Lent and pagan festivals and Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday is supposed to be when, you know, Jesus was crucified. Mm -hmm. And if you think Jesus was crucified on Friday, you don't know your math. Book plainly says, as Jonah was in the belly of the well three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. If you kill him on Friday and get him up Sunday, you can't get three days and three nights. No, no. Amen. 
So your good Friday is no good. Amen. Amen. Now let us look at Easter. I want it to be good for any egg lovers here. Yeah. You say Jesus rose on Easter. Right. I mean, I've been hearing that since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. When I was in the, you know, elementary school, we'd make our Easter baskets, you know, and buy our little fake grass, mm -hmm. you know, and we could hear the music. And your Easter bonnet with all your thrills upon it. That's right. You'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. Amen. So what they, the school would do would have Easter parades. Yeah. That's right. You make your Easter bonnet and you put it on and you walk through the neighborhood. I remember I felt stupid. <laughs> Got my little paper plate and stapled it together and glued some stuff on it and I'm walking around the neighborhood. Right. A little fool pagan was I. Amen. You know, when you don't know, you're swept up in stupidity. <laughs> That's right. Viewers and you that are here, Jesus, the Bible never said at no time, no time, mm -hmm. no place mm -hmm. that Jesus rose on Easter. That's the time that the colonel mind set aside to come to church just to look good. That's right. You can't even get the message because you're so worried about what you got on. Yeah. Worrying about how polished your shoes are. Oh, yeah. So you won't kneel. Amen. Scared you're going to scuff up your toe. That's right. Scared to clap when someone sang because you don't want your hair to get fuzzy. Uh. Can't get into the swing of things because your wig may shift. Yeah. Or your fake eyelashes may get in your eye. Right. We that are true worshipers Amen. have no interest, no interest in paganism. No interest. You cannot be a child of God and then want to believe some of the scriptures. Right. He told Ezekiel to eat how much? Oh. Eat all of them. No. Oh, God is good. No. Brothers and sisters, we're glad for this youth conference for 2015. And there are so many that's still on the road. And so many that's still on their way here. God have been good to the truth of God without question. Amen. Many of you have been writing me, telling me, Pastor Jennings, when are you going to put something new on the air? Well... It may be a new year, but it's the same message that you saw in 2010. Oh, yeah. The message don't change. But since many have seen us, we have been on the road almost every week. People gone down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ by the number around this country. Souls receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Constantly being added daily throughout America and across the Atlantic and the South Pacific, regardless of where you are, Amen. this message is opening up people understandings. More, I'm getting thousands of letters constantly. People who are listening at this message in the 60s and 70s and 80s writing me, and many of them have said the same thing. Where have you been all of our life? Many is writing, never heard a message like this. We baptized a gentleman last week in Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe is about four, five, and maybe six hours, I, I believe, from New Orleans, who was a Baptist for 45 years. Went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are grateful. <laughs>